What's going on, everybody? So, uh, real quick, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like. And then over here somewhere, there should be like a subscribe button, you know, just tap it. But I'm on my way to another account, and this has just been a bizarre day. It started with a dead battery for no good reason. I jumped it, got to my next account, which was like 30 minute drive away. And I go take care of what I gotta do, cover a couple cases. Then I get back to my car and it's dead. So now I know that nothing was left on in the car. I just have a dead battery. So this brings me to a quick topic of problem solving. You have to understand that when you're in this industry, especially when you're covering cases or I would say that this would be big at my last job when I was in orthopedics when I mean you're you really got to be at a lot of those cases you don't have time for one roadside assistance two to go and change your battery and three to not pick up items that are needed to get picked up because you have cases the following day. Um, like, you, there's just no room for slack or error. So, I problem solved. Uh, so, this is a, a company vehicle. So, I can't just go in and do something without going through the proper channel. So, I actually have to call and make our uh, roadside assistance team come and give me a jump things like that well i did that this morning with my own other car or personal car but uh i was at a hospital I, i'm not gonna just ask a random person walking by hey do you have uh can you bring your car over so you can jump me real fast so i i had to call that company figure out that it's a dead battery so i can't just go to some auto parts store and go buy another battery i actually have to go to a uh, certified dealer and have them put the battery in for me. So I don't have time for any of that. So some of you green people out there are probably not watching this channel. So I probably won't get too much hate for this, but I am having to go everywhere, run some appointments, and just leave my car running. That's problem solving right there, all right? If I don't turn the car off, then I'm good. But I'm gonna need to get this fixed. And I don't really have any time today. I'm running back to back to back. So it'll probably be something I have to fix tomorrow. And I'll just jump it up, uh, jump start it again at my house. So this is just, you know, a quick little story of how in this career, you, you've got to problem solve and you got to be ready to jump on it really quickly. I remember at my last job, um, one of the guys was telling me that his car died on the highway. He was running back and forth so much that he completely wasn't paying attention to his gas tank, which just like me right now, I'm 45 miles to empty. Um, so again, I'm gonna have to leave my car on while I pump gas. I'm sure other people do that. So I think it'll be okay. But he, he ran out of gas. And so he had to pull over on the side of the road. And again, I'm talking, you, you can't really miss cases and not even that, especially if you have implants in your car and they're expecting them at a case because the, the, the implants like you keep on yourself and they just have the product that they need to implant the implant. Um, you need to be there. So he had to call Uber to get him picked up and taken to the next hospital while he just left his car behind. These are things that you're going to have to think of like in an instance and, and figure out what you're going to do. So if you're somebody that isn't very quick on making those kind of decisions, then I would rethink wanting to get into a career like this because just when you think everything's going perfect, you're going to get the biggest dog crap dropped all over you and you can't let it ruin your day and you can't just go, well, I'm, I got to go get my tire and my, my battery fixed. So I'll, I'll be MIA for the next couple of hours while I'm sitting at a Firestone. All right. You got to figure it out and you got to make shit work. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.